Okay, let's write the divide in Descript. Now, the word the we've covered several times before. T-H-E becomes... There we have it. Without lifting the pen, a single stroke produces the word the. That one will set the word the aside for the moment. Now, let's divide. Let's try to put this together. The simplest possible combination. Now, we've got D, I, V, I. Sorry. We're going with simplest possible combinations here. D, E. Now, there's a whole lot we can do to this to start breaking this down. First of all, the D, I, I hate using this D, I, because it's just not nice. I mean, it's clear it's a D, there's nothing else it could be, but with the, that extra line coming out of the bottom, the Ds start to lose their meaning. I mean, it, this is the original form of the D. It's, I prefer to sometimes connect off the side there, but especially with the letter I, it just looks ugly like that. So, to connect with the letter D, this is what we do. We draw the I directly on top of the letter D, like so, and boom, we've got a great connection here. Okay, D, I, V. Now, there's a special version of this is I, this is V, We've got a special version of I we can do like that. Looks quite nice, actually, IV. It takes a little bit of artistic um, liberties there, but it's in the Descript manual, as you can see it. But we'll, we'll stay away from that for now, and we'll add a word line. DIV, and now ID, we, I, VI, we've seen this combo before. We can connect like that, but we can also draw it up and connect it in. D, we can draw that directly through there, and the E can be on the bottom. Or it could even be under there if we can make enough room. So let's try to do that, actually. I think that'll look pretty nice. V, I, V, I, D. And not enough room, but it fits. Okay. Starts to look pretty nice, actually. It kind of looks like something is dividing something. As you can see, Descript is a great language because you can, while the letters don't intrinsically have some kind of logographic meaning to them. You can find a way to give it to them. You use your imagination to assign visual meanings to the words, as opposed to them originally having meanings that you are then to associate to the word.